Hi again. There's a little bit of a gap in this Let's Play because I was trying to get over a cold. But I'm back now and... The door is locked from the inside. Just checking out where I left off. I don't think I explored here yet. So let's see. The door is locked from the inside. I think I see rats here. Closed. Closed. Most adventure games, they come up with like a slightly different way of saying something rather than repeating. <clears throat> if they know that you're going to click on two different things. This stuff could only be of any use to the owner. Possibly. Wait, I think that was different. This stuff could only be of any use to the owner. owner Possibly. Of, owner of hotel, hardly. Interesting. I wonder if that was the actor just trying something different, or if they just messed up the translation. I don't... what is up with this? What are we doing here? I'm trying to click on it, but nothing happened, so maybe it's interactable with an item? That doesn't seem to work. Oh, what else is in here? This stuff could only be of any use to the owner. So maybe that's an indication that there's nothing really that I could do in here, but I don't know. I really kind of think that something goes on here, but there's no indication of what this does. It's just some machine. Give me the hand. There it is, never mind. Well, anyways, you can't do anything there. Don't see anything else. These rooms are pretty bare bones. Just like a, a lot of artwork in most of these. King's Quest VI, my favorite adventure game, I think probably the best adventure game ever made as far as quality goes. Like everything in each screen almost was clip was clickable and had unique empty <laughs> bottles. Had unique um, little written description even for different interactions, like talk. Like you could try and talk to different things and the narrator basically just makes fun of you in many unique ways. A lot of winemakers would envy such a wine cellar. But then again, King's Quest VI is just a totally different type of game. It's an adventure game for the sake of making an awesome adventure game and this maybe is trying to stick closer to the source material so the stocks here will suffice for a long time the stocks here will suffice the stock um, really at a loss of as to what I'm doing. I guess I'm looking for something to melt the ice, but I don't know. A lot of wine maker. So far, I 
don't think that I've seen anything to melt the ice on the on the um, garage door thing. Looks so like a place of crime. What? Oh, maybe because that's blood or something. Great. We're just trying to loot some some uh The well's depth is not visible because of bad illumination. We're just trying to loot some melting equipment and then we come upon a crime scene. But he's not too like excited about it, like, whoa, what the hell? He's just like, yeah, whatever. Looks like a crime scene. He was more upset about his door being open. The oven is as old as everything else around here. Sauces and spices. Not sure what they all are. Oh, she came into the room before, I think. Oh, Lieutenant Glebski. Let's, let's straight away accuse her, just because we're a dick. So, was there any reason you locked me in? In where? Oh, drop it. The door was locked when you left. Door? What door? The door to my room. Oh, is that all? Why didn't you just open it? <laughs> Let's repeat what we were saying. Oh, drop it. The door was locked when you left. Door? What door? <laughs> She's so dense, she'll just continue the conversation in an infinite loop. The door to my room. Oh, is that all? Why didn't you just open it? It was locked from the outside. The outside of what? The outside of the door. What door? <laughs> She's funny. Yeah, about that, Kaiser. It's just Peter, okay? Sure thing, Lieutenant Klebski. This is a nice little nook you've got here. It's so homey, tranquil. Mmm, I like it here. Hey, could you tell me when dinner is on? I'm starved. Not to you. They ring and they ring, but when I go up, there's no one. They? They? Who? Oh, how should I know? All of them. Everyone just does as he pleases around here. When you say ring, what do you mean? Each room has a button, see? And over there, I've got a lamp for each button. They press the buttons, the lamps light up, and off I go. That's interesting. So how does it work, exactly? You're asking me? Talk to Mr. Snoir. That sounds like a puzzle. Like we gotta trick her into going to a certain room or something. Fair enough. So about dinner? Not to you. They ring and they ring, but when I go up, there's no one. Some games, like, the options grey out once you've used them. But in this one, you can just keep asking and asking. You get the same response. Well, I'd better get a move on. Sounds like the call system is on the blink. I guess I'd better tell Alec. Some games I can understand having um, the ability to ask the same question over and over again. Like, I think in Monkey Island it does that, but...
But uh, like I was saying, like it's kind of used as a hint in Monkey Island, or the Curse of Monkey Island. I don't know about the other ones. I forget. So that like you can keep referring to it when you're stuck. So we are compatriots in hunger as well, Lieutenant. What are you doing? Presumably the same as you, waiting for dinner. Right. Well, I'll wait over here. Don't see anything else to do. Let's look at our notes. <coughs> Sorry, I think I'm a little slow tonight at this. Yeah, I'm drugged up on cold medicine. Uh, of course, you know, Fred needs a pretty rosy garland. It's not like ice over it, defreeze it. I talked to Alec about calling a system. I forget if Alec is who or who Alec is. I, I guess I already talked to that guy, so that guy's probably not Alec. Let's check out this room. Are you Alec? I'm gonna poke you. That was such Awkward. Greetings. Do Barnstoker at your service. Well, I'm gonna pretend that I know who he is. Not the Do Barnstalker. Is there any other? And may I ask, what absolute article are you? I don't understand that phrase. Lieutenant Peter Glebski. You can call this a holiday visit. A detective? Smashing. Perhaps you can be of some aid. I don't really understand the point of even clicking a dialogue option if, like the one before, there was only one dialogue option. I would much rather just, like, have my character keep talking because that's what they sometimes do anyways in these games. But, whatever. Yes, well, I don't believe we're fully introduced yet. Yes, of course. Lieutenant Glebski, allow me to introduce my late brother's only child and in investment, the Darling Bruin. My uncle here has trouble warming to our two-wheeled friends. I take it you're more in for the four-wheeled kind? I saw the car out front. It's a criminal eyesore. I don't know if it even counts as a vehicle. Tell me, why haven't the police cracked down on this menace? Well, that's um, a good point. I'll make sure to bring it up with my colleagues when I get back. I would be most grateful, and considering the shoes you found, I should be doubly obliged. I'm assuming that he's talking about our car and making fun of it, and we don't have a snide comeback. That's kind of disappointing, seeing how much of a dick our character seems. I would, I would have wanted a snide comeback. It was nothing, really. Gracious, Kaiza is certainly taking her time with dinner. Ah well. Lieutenant, my child, I shall leave you together. Should you need me, you know where to look. But I forget, was he saying out front? Because our car is not out front anymore, if, if that was the case. It's just not in the garage. But anyways, I... I might be overly critical right now, but I kind of like, if, if they're going to narrow my character's um, personality, I would at least want it to be consistent. Because why would he not be a dick to that guy if he was a dick to the friendly innkeeper? So, I don't know. I 
there's nothing new there. Come on. Do burn Stoker, tall aristocratic man with no face, phenomenally proud nose. It's really got to be him. No two men could have such a nose. Also, I'm just going on my player character's word that he's amazing. Nothing has, like, impressed upon me that he's amazing. You want something, detective? Yeah. About your uncle. Way to brush him off, man. Smooth. You're talking about a motorcycle, right? Yeah. Well, you'd better think more about your car. You just left it to turn into a snowdrift. The car's fine, really. But thanks. Gratitude from the police. Now there's a riot. Um, I, I might not be paying that much attention to the story because I didn't realize he was with the police, actually. Oh wait, did they say detective? I don't think detective ne necessarily means police, though. All right, I'm off then. This goes to show how wrapped in the story I am right now. <laughs> but maybe it'll pick up or maybe I'll figure out what's going on and learn to appreciate it more. Because I'm being even more of a dick to this game than this guy is to everyone around him. Now, I'm, I ba I'm basically comparing this game to a lot of other games that I've played, and one of the things that I just noticed now that I would like to compare is that when I tried to walk off the edge of the screen, it didn't do anything. A lot of adventure games that i played frame the scenes so that when you walk to the edge, you either transition or the edge is set up where it's like an enclosed area and there would be no reasonable idea of being able to walk past a certain area. It's like a game interface issue in my opinion. Um, not being able to walk past an area that you supposedly think that you should be able to. There are no chess pieces and it seems that there is no rival. I shall certainly spend one evening by the fireplace, thumbing through classics of a detective. Like, it's the open world, like, adventure, action adventure equivalent to an invisible wall. Like, talking about 3D gameplay where you can't go across a certain portion of the map. Those kinds of games, invisible walls piss me off because like, they don't let you cross rivers or something if it's like it's, it's like a tiny stream. No, my character can't go across water. Well, that's that's like how I feel when I can't pass like that. But then again, I just noticed that it's the same issue as I've encountered on previous screens in that if I go too far to the right with my cursor, it's not interactable. But if I go just far enough, it is. So I might be complaining too much just because of that. Um, I have to call that a programming oversight because in a lot of adventure games, people do put their cursor to the very edge. It's like an expectation that the very edge is still part of the clickable area. And in this game, a lot of scenes don't incorporate the very edge pixels. And that has confused me on a few occasions already. 
made me complain, made me lose track of where I can go, or not, just not know at all. I really need to stop making this like a review. I'm just playing the game. I'm just playing through the game, trying to figure it out. <clears throat> so maybe I should stop being overly critical. There's, as far as I can tell, there is zero interaction in this room. Besides leaving. What's this? Road bag of the traveler. Well, I can't do anything with it. Really, what is it with these cryptic messages road bag of the traveler I don't see how that helps me or what that even exactly means I mean it's not even a complete sentence these are the Moses's rooms I suppose I'll meet them eventually nah I see no need to bug the Moses's nah Okay, I wasn't sure if that was like from the same click. These are the Moses. So I'm assuming that the Moseses will eventually come into the story and then I'll have a reason to go there and talk to them. And that's probably what those messages were referring to. Right now I was just interested in this, but that's not interactable, so. And if there's a different word for interactable, let me know. Because I can't think of anything and I keep using that word a lot. Ooh, I forget if I've been here. I think this might have been one of the first rooms. Now there's an old camera. It's really even hard to tell what it is. It looked like a pamphlet. Nice guitar. Time was I could pull a fair chord or two. Some of these um, phrases, time was, I haven't heard that before. I mean, not that I'm very much into literature or this, um, this colloquialism type of speak. But, um, yeah, I've never heard some of these phrases before, so it throws me off a bit. But then again, I'm just all around pretty uncultured. The Lost Mountaineer. Was this painted before or after his death? Let's poke out his eyes. This must be... Well, there is a new dialogue thing. This must be the hotel's namesake. The Lost Mountaineer. Oh, it's on one of those random things. This must be... Like, random response. <coughs> it kind of annoys me when it's on random, because then you don't know what you're missing. If you, like, don't quit, if you don't click it a second time. Most of the things don't have a second option. I also don't like it when there's, it looks like it's interactable, but he doesn't say anything. Some kind of poetry? Oma Kayam? 
pretty fascinating, actually. I'm not sure why it worked that time, because I did like several clicks before that, and nothing happened. So I'm assuming that I might have just missed something else going on in the room that prevented me from interacting with this, because that's what sometimes happens in adventure games. But since I missed it, I don't know. Actually, it's doing it now again. I can't interact with it. Some kind of poetry? Oma Kayam? Pretty fascinating, actually. So, maybe it just took a while for the click to do anything. I don't know why that would happen, though. Because sometimes it's, it's about waiting for an animation to stop, but in that case, I was looking directly at it. Some kind of poetry? Oh, Makayam? Yeah, that was an example. But in this case, I'm right there already. I just clicked. Some kind of poetry? And now oh, it Makaya. finally does it. So, that is the weirdest thing. There are so many great books here. Way too many for a single vacation. Some of the some of the bounding areas. I'm trying to click on something to interact with it, and then I just go off screen. Looks like Beowulf. I think my father read this to me once. As opposed to reading it to someone else, with that inflection. There are so many great books here. take so long when there's when there doesn't seem to be that much that goes on in each scene but that's a really small complaint in my opinion that's not quite that bothersome to me like I almost think that it's just the animation that takes a world map here be monsters I like that I almost think that it's like the animation takes the entirety of the loading time, because otherwise it would just be like, pew! Because I have this installed on a on a, a RAID 0 setup of two hard drives, which are both Raptor hard drives, so technically my setup should have the fastest loading times, because when you're loading, you're loading stuff from the hard drive into your RAM, and my RAM is also fast. And if I have the fastest hard drive set up, or at least, like, relatively fast, it shouldn't take very long at all to load things. So I just think that it's odd that each of these screens takes so long to load. But like I said, that's a small complaint. Like, I wouldn't really care if everything else was, like, amazing. You've seen one Mediterranean village, you've seen them all. Still, how peaceful it looks. Oh, I just realized that I wasn't recording. Um, what I was saying, well, not recording my voice at least, what I was saying is that I was away checking my text messages for like five minutes, and that the character was just standing there staring at the wall for five minutes, but that you didn't see a difference. Because I rendered it out altogether! 
locked tight. Let's see, do we have anything to break it? No, apparently not. And I don't think that's room four, but let's try it. Nope. Dog used to be in there, but I don't know where he is now. There he is. Now might be a good enough time to save. I mean, just in case the dog eats us. exactly sure what he did to the dog. I couldn't see it from this angle. Maybe he stuck his finger in its eye. The dog was just like numb in that eye. He didn't care. I like to imagine strange things. I can't tell if there's a clickable thing here or not. I guess there is. But it's only on um, like the top panel. They have the weirdest clickable areas in this game. I guess clickable is my other word that I use besides interactable. Dead Mountaineers Hotel. I think he already said that before. Oh, and some adventure games is like, I don't want to go that way when you try and go off the map or something. The character tells you what the character wants to do. It's especially funny when games like King's Quest V do that sort of thing because in King's Quest V you can just make the character walk off a cliff to his death or do something incredibly stupid that kills him. But no, he doesn't want to do something that you do just because it would require the game designers to put it in as programming. So kind of like a disconnect between whether or not you have control over the character. You know, I still get confused by the icons, because I thought that I was going to interact with the barrel, but then realized that, oh, he's just walking to the next area. And I'm, like, coming back to this place with no new items, so I might just be wasting my time completely. It's just that I happen to wander back over here. Ugh, keep walking, stupid. I kind of feel like half of the, the fun of adventure games, though, is clicking on the different things and hearing what the character has to say about those mm. different things. Sugar-frosted stairwell. There's an accident waiting to happen. Because, like, and I think it kind of brings the scene to life when the character is inspecting it and giving commentary on the different things. Because otherwise it's just artwork that you can't do anything with. I still don't know what to do here. The lock is complete. The lock is complete. Success. The lock. The lock. 
know, usually when there's like an up close screenshot of whatever it is, that means that there's like some kind of puzzle involved where you click on a certain area and that's what figures it out. But in this, it's just so that you could see a close up shot of the lockbox thing. That kind of throws me off. Looks like someone didn't make it to the garage on time. Could it belong to that climber? See, we're gonna walk over here. We can! Hooray! I think I'm actually gonna turn the music up because right now it's it's not being obnoxious and I kind of feel like the effect music is the one that was being really obnoxious in that one scene and also I'm starting to have less to talk about so when I stop the recording button on my voice I'm sure it's pretty silent I feel like there might have been something back there because otherwise that's just a huge pass-through screen. And no, nope, it looks like it's a huge pass-through screen. Basically just a useless hallway. Not that that's necessarily so bad. Just a little boring. I mean, it's more realistic, but usually games blend realism with fun and lean toward fun. Ah, if dinner were ready, I doubt this place would be so barren. I think the character's making a lot of assumptions on what we're actually trying to get him to do. Like, like he thinks that we already know that we're going in there to find dinner, but I really just don't know what at all is going on. Sorry, someone came in the room and started talking to me. So now I'm still trying to figure out what to do. And I'm still not entirely sure about what the AI does over time, like changing different places and stuff. Like, I know games like Laura Bow uh, 1 and 2. There was a, a set schedule on like different parts of the game, or like, um, like how many interactions or just time-wise, I forget what it was dependent upon. But different people would be in different places at different times, and it was it was on a schedule. I'm wondering if this game is like that in that if I putz around for too long, the game is just going to complete itself. The moving model of the Earth reminds us about continuous currents of time. It doesn't remind me. It doesn't even look like the Earth, really, to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the Earth there. But that's okay. Just 
still desperately looking for what I'm supposed to be doing. I've already been there. So... I can't see. Okay, I don't think that I've been here. What's this? Sauces and spices. Not sure what they all are. The oven is as old as everything else around here. This is even worse than pixel hunting. It's like, even if you find something that's clickable, there's no reason to click it. And it's so few and far between that you find something that's clickable. Usually the clickable things are not even interesting. Okay, so I seem to keep getting interrupted, but I think that's over maybe, so let's go back to what I was doing. Saw a rat scurrying about, but I don't know what happened to him. <coughs> but maybe there's something that we do with that. I'm really just... The stocks here. I'm really just... Um, jumping at scraps of gameplay because I don't know exactly what at all I'm supposed to be doing. The system of ventilation in a wine cellar is necessary. Looking over my items to see if there's anything that I have that didn't think to use. Empty bottles. anything to use my lighter on except for that um, garage door outside. I don't really know of any change that happened just because we moved the car. I mean, sometimes doing like a small thing like that will change the situation and allow you to do something else, but I don't think anything really happened. I could be wrong. This is the place that didn't have anything besides a, a thing that's not really interactable. Maybe, let me see if it's just one of those time release interactions. at all as far as I can tell. And I can't go over there. Yeah, nothing. 
wonder if this is interactable later. Oh, I think I see rats here. That's what he said the first time through. Let's see if he says that every time. He says that every time. Maybe it's just that we're not expected to come through here all that often. But that's like seeing the murder scene and seeing the same thing about it every time. Or if that's a murder scene, I don't even know what it is. It's just an axe with some blood near it. The door is locked from the inside. The door. Okay, I get the feeling that the downstairs has a lot of nothing to do. The drawing of the electro generator. It must be one of Alex's inventions. Normally I would think looking at the drawing would give me some idea of what I'm supposed to do or where I'm supposed to find a generator, but. Nope, he just talks about it. I don't think there's anything to do besides that. Looks like a fire alarm. That'd be cool if we could pull the fire alarm just to heckle him. Can't put this up to anything or set his pants on fire. That's no fun. Smoking is cool. Oh, I wonder if he'll just keep smoking forever if I don't click anything. Set off the fire alarm at least. Ah, Lieutenant Glebski, I see you've settled in admirably. All is well, I trust. What are you up to? I am trying to repair this blasted call system. It's driving poor Kaisa up the wall. Oh, so maybe I just passed him up and Maybe I was supposed to interact with him all along, but I just ignored him because he's so freaking annoying. So, what's the problem exactly? You've got me. I could swear that it was deliberate. <laughs> deliberate? Like Dilbert. Can I have a shot? Yes, of course. It's always fun to see a detective's mind at work. You know, I'm not qualified to do electronic repairs, but can I have a shot? Yes, of course. I mean, even if he said yes, I wouldn't expect that as the reaction. Like, yes, of course, that makes perfect sense. I think I need some kind of tool for this. Nice try, but no, doesn't work. Nice try, but... Nice... Do I have any wire cutters? I don't think so. I don't have any tools.
So I basically like, can I give it a try? I don't have anything with me. Well, I'll look at it for a little bit and then just leave it alone without saying anything. Just walk away. This guy is just goofy. Pretty soon I'm going to just um, stop recording, consult a walkthrough, and then uh, get back to actually figure, yeah, actually playing the game, because I've just been wandering a lot in this. I feel kind of bad that nothing's happened. Maybe I'll just title this part, like, NOTHING HAPPENS! As a warning. So that you don't watch this episode. I'm gonna give the upstairs one more shot. Door to a shower room looks practically abandoned. Some adventure games. Door to a sh some adventure games block you off from certain areas just because, like, um, they don't want you to get lost in trying to do what you're supposed to do first. Like introduce each area one at a time, or. Like, not one at a time, but like in segments, so you're not overwhelmed. And that makes sense in this occasion, because I'm just wandering everywhere, and not, and really not finding where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just completely lost. I have no idea. There's so many rooms to explore, so much not to do and so much wasted time right now. I don't think I've been here before. I could be wrong. But then again, I don't see anything up here for me, so... I'm wondering if this is just a little useless right now. Pretty sure I already tried this room a second time, but I'm desperate. A call button. It's yellow. Jeez. Did I just not see this before? Or maybe it wasn't interactable. Mind control on the button. Okay. Number ten. Call buttons yellow. What is this? A what is this? Is significant right 
now. Closed. Right, the, the bear on the seal of California uh, saying that there's a type of bear called a seal bear. So, and I'm just talking about on the flag and the seal. of sorts, or in any game that has a room of your own. So maybe there's something that we missed in our room. Call button here call is button. pink. Violet or purple. Pink, purple. So now he's actually taking notes on the button, whereas before he just looked at it and said, oh, it's such and such. So maybe all those things that I could look at before will become more interesting as the game goes on. But no promises on that, because I don't know how this game is designed exactly. But I might as well go about collecting call button colors for my little notebook. A stack of LPs. Another call button. This one's red. He has a really great arm stretchability. Or um, it's just telekinetic. I think it's funny about that room is that like when you pass the halfway mark in the room the radio just whatever song it is I, um, starts over completely I thought that was interesting here we go again okay so that call button worked she was saying that or someone was saying that the system wasn't working Which room was it? This time it came from your room. How old? Well, guess I'd better be going now. He just did like the same animation three times over. That was pretty, pretty awesome. What better way to convey how you feel than to do the exact same motion three times? Just to really drive it home. Does the toilet have a call button? Oh, come on. 
Where'd you go? Go to the I really need to start start double clicking more because what? play billiards alone? What's the point? Now, if I had a solid opponent. Is this just taking too long? Room number six, apparently. No one at home. Here's room number seven. No one at home. That's room number eight. It's quite open. Do enter. Jeez, we find ah, fine. detective. I gather I made a bold impression on your investigative mind. Finally find a room I could go into. <laughs> Not really. There's some music I recognize in the background. But I'm not cultured enough to know the name of the song. Sorry. Not really. That is, I was just wondering about the color of your call button. A button, you say? I really couldn't tell you, Lieutenant. Take a gander yourself if it pleases you. My rooms are at your disposal. I really couldn't tell you. It's right next to me, but I don't know what color it is. A call button. Blue this time. Or I wonder if he's colorblind, maybe. Press it. Ah! Uh, like, normally, that's a command for your character, but in this case, he's like, PRESS IT! Like telling the other guy to press it, but then he just walks over and presses it himself anyways. This guy is so goofy. Did not expect fairy tales for kids. It doesn't look like there's a wall there. Looks like there is a hallway thing. Come on. Whatever. Oh, I didn't even try talking to him. Ah, detective. I gather I made a bold impression on your investigative. Not really. See you around. Oh, well, you're perfectly welcome. Any time. She's quick. Here we go again. It's okay, Kaiser. I was just testing the system. Don't worry about it. Well, you should be ashamed of yourself. You may be bored, but I have a thousand better things to do than chase around after every joker with a wandering finger. Good day to you, sir. Made her mad. Room number nine, it's say. No one at home. I suppose those rooms might fill up or something. And maybe that is their way of blocking off certain areas that you don't need to go to yet. Maybe it's just that, um, that I, I feel oh, unjustly overwhelmed right now. Maybe my threshold for overwhelmedness is a little too low. Or 
was just one curiosity I had about the car moving was that I was curious if it like revealed anything under the car since that was the change of this area that I made occur. I was thinking maybe something happened that allowed me to progress in the game because I'm, like I said, I'm really just grabbing for gameplay because I don't know what I'm doing. But at this point, I'm just going to save and consult a walkthrough because I don't have the tool for melting the... Jeez, the music just stopped again. I don't have the tool for melting the ice on the garage door or the tool for um, handling the wires in the um, call button system. I assume a wire cutter, but I don't know. He just says that he doesn't have the equipment or something like that. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll try to label this appropriately so that you don't have to watch it if you don't care to be bored out of your mind for this long. Anyways, bye.